This four skeletivity episode discusses our solar system traveling within cosmic scale uranium dioxide crystals. Picture our solar system as a sphere, 80 astronomical units across, with the Sun at its center, including the eight planets, Pluto, and every other object that orbits the Sun. Cosmic scale uranium dioxide forms an enormous crystal lattice throughout the Milky Way, providing a superhighway 700 astronomical units wide for our solar system's passage through the galaxy. At the quantum scale, each fissioning nucleus accelerates neutrons to velocities a few percent of the speed of light. These high energy neutrons undergo dozens of collisions, systematically reducing their velocity to a few kilometers per second. For comparison, the Earth orbits the Sun at 30 kilometers per second, while the entire solar system races at 368 kilometers per second relative to the cosmic microwave background. The solar system moves the length of its diameter once per year. The cosmic scale neutron, now decaying as our solar system, had many collisions, slowing it to its present velocity. The last collision might have occurred over five billion years ago setting our solar system's course and speed. At its current velocity, the solar system moves 6 million light years in 5 billion years. As high-speed neutrons are not gravitationally bound to particles, so the solar system is not gravitationally bound to the Milky Way. It is possible that our solar system came to the Milky Way from another galaxy. Earth's history records a dramatic event 65 million years ago, the extinction of the dinosaurs. The solar system traveled 80,000 light years in the past 65 million years. It is possible that the entire solar system experienced a traumatic event 65 million years ago such as entering into the Milky Way galaxy's dark halo from intergalactic space. The solar system, in a very real sense, is a titanic scale neutron experiment with regular recurring phenomena revealing details about the cosmic scale crystals it passes through. Let us now examine this cosmic scale uranium dioxide crystal lattice. Uranium dioxide crystal system is cubic with a fluorite crystal packing structure. The outer blue cube locates the position of 14 cosmic scale uranium atoms centered on the blue spheres. Eight are at the cube corners with six at the cube face centers. The inner green cube locates the positions of eight cosmic scale oxygen atoms centered on the green spheres. All eight are at the cube quanters. The cosmic scale uranium nucleus has a mass 236 times the sun's mass and a diameter 4.7 times the sun's diameter. Each cosmic scale oxygen nucleus has a mass 16 times the sun's mass and a diameter 1.7 times the sun's diameter. The length of the blue cube's uranium edge is 1400 astronomical units. The length of the green cube's oxygen edge is 700 astronomical units. Compare these lengths to the 80 astronomical unit diameter we pictured for our solar system. The red arrow represents the direction and distance the solar system travels in one 22-year cycle. Cosmic scale crystals have areas of maximum 
and minimum gravitational, electric, and magnetic potential that the solar system periodically encounters. The solar system journey through these crystals is reflected in the solar sunspot cycle, the regular spacing of the planetary orbits known as Titus Bode's Law, and the orbital periods of Jupiter and Saturn. The Sun's photosphere contains sunspot groups, areas of dark, irregular shaped patterns that travel with the Sun's surface rotation. The average number of sunspots varies over an 11 year period called the sunspot cycle. Powerful magnetic fields pass through the sunspots, cooling them about 2,000 degrees Celsius compared to the surrounding photosphere. Sunspots usually occur in pairs that have opposite magnetic poles, such as north and south. All the leading sunspots of a pair in the same hemisphere have the same magnetic pole, such as north. At the same time, all the leading sunspots of a pair in the opposite hemisphere have opposite magnetic poles, such as south. During the next 11-year cycle, all the leading sunspots of a pair in both hemispheres have reversed magnetic poles. Therefore, the full magnetic sunspot cycle is 22 years. Historical records include an extended period of low sunspot activity called the Maunder Minimum from 1645 to 1715. The solar system traveled the distance of three cosmic scale crystals during the Maunder Minimum. The Maunder Minimum may reflect a record of the solar system crossing a gap in the otherwise orderly cosmic scale crystal array. After their minimum, sunspots first appear at latitudes 40 degrees north and south of the sun's equator. This reflects the angle the solar system velocity vector makes relative to a plane of cosmic scale electron orbitals. Sunspots remain at the same latitude, but as years progress into the cycle, new sunspots arise closer to the equator. At the end of the 11 year cycle, sunspots appear on the equator. This reflects the solar system's velocity vector bisecting a plane of cosmic scale electron orbitals. Quantum scale crystal lengths expand as human scale temperatures increase. By fractal self-similarity, cosmic scale crystal lengths expand as titanic scale temperatures increase. Radar astronomy can measure both cosmic scale atomic vibration velocities and cosmic scale crystal cell lengths to determine the titanic scale temperature of our solar neighborhood. This data will also calibrate the all-important length scale in fractal, ubiquitous throughout fractal physics theory. Radar astronomy is positioned to play a crucial role in the advancement of physics. Oxygen atoms have eight positive protons at their center and eight negative electrons orbiting about that center. Uranium atoms have 92 protons at their center and 92 electrons orbiting about that center. The number of sunspots per year recorded from 1700 to 2012 have values ranging from 0 to 190. Is it possible that each sunspot is in a one-to-one -one correspondence with the number of cosmic scale atomic charges the solar system is currently within? For uranium, the number of electrons grouped per distance from the uranium nucleus is 2, 8, 
18, 32, 21, 9, and 2 for a total of 92 electrons for one uranium atom. A plot of the number of electrons per uranium shell for a series of uranium atoms is strikingly similar to a plot of the number of sunspots per year for the past 300 years. Could it be that simple? Let us ask solar physicist Dr. Tatoma of the High Altitude Observatory to look into this for us. Physics is about to advance rapidly if Horton hears a who. This Skeletivity episode was produced by Z23 Studios. Make sure you subscribe to our Skeletivity channel so you don't miss an episode. Please go to Skeletivity.com to read the five initial fractal physics articles published online in the Fundamental Journal of Modern Physics. Skeletivity.com also includes three groundbreaking amazing articles available nowhere else. Until the next Skeletivity episode, this is Leonard Melanoski inviting you to help me advance physics.